What's up? It's Tierra. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, I did the flip over method and y'all, y'all see it, okay? I did the flip over method in this video. A flip over, I did a quick weave. How do you say it? I did the quick weave flip over method. I did a flip over quick weave. Yeah, so <laughs> I know the flip over method comes from Ivy, okay? None other than Ivy, all hell Ivy. Mama Ivy, the, the fairy godmother of hair here on YouTube, the OG of weave here on YouTube, y'all. So y'all know this is the Ivy flip over method. Y'all have done this countless times on my clients. Y'all, this, this method became so popular that people would come to me, sit in my chair and start asking for the flip, flip over method. And at first I was like, what is the flip over method? Like, what are y'all talking about? Somebody was like, you know the girl on YouTube, Ivy on YouTube. I was like, what? She got flip over method. So <laughs> I had to study her on YouTube and watch this method to provide this for my clients. Y'all, that's how popping this method is. Like, she dope for that. Okay, and I've been watching Ivy for like years on YouTube. Um, like I've been watching her for years, like back in the day. She's an OG here on YouTube, and she definitely, I definitely want to give props to her for this method. Definitely came straight from Mama Ivy. Okay, I follow her techniques. I did everything she told me to do, and it came out like this. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into all the hair details because I know y'all wondering what bomb hair is this on my head. The hair I'm using today is from Asteria Hairs. First off, the box was just super pretty. I love the flowers and stuff. That was super cute. They sent me two little chokers, which I was so excited about. Like, yes, girl, yes, some little hair bands and then the hair itself which I got three bundles 18 16 and 14 of this Brazilian curly hair here's how the bundle look bundles look pretty full the hair is so pretty right out the pack um, as you know when you get hair fresh out the pack it's like stiff and a little shiny so you do want to co-wash curly hair which is what I did here so this is the hair co-wash um, because I am doing a quick weave I made sure not to wet the wefts itself I co-washed it with the Aussie mega moist conditioner and I did leave some of the conditioner on there, so it's still nice and hydrated. I'm gonna let them air dry as I'm doing my hair. But y'all, these curls though, these curls, when I say these curls are popping, I'm so excited for this hair because these curls were just everything. Like, it just looks like some really bomb, like, natural hair. The curls were definitely popping. Quality definitely look amazing from the weft all the way to the end. So, I'm just super excited to go ahead and try this hair. Shout out to Asteria Hair for sponsoring this video and sending me this bomb hair to do my flip over method with. All right, so those were the hair details. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm about to go ahead and start on my quick weave. I just wanna show y'all like my braid pattern. For my quick weave, all I did was one, two, three, four, five braids, could have been four. And the great thing about like curly hair quick weaves is your braids do not have to be small, girl, okay? You can have big braids because the curly hair is already big. Everything don't have to be, you know, super, super flat. So yeah, I did some jumbo mumbo braids. Here goes the back. As you can see with each braid, I just took it up with the next one. So they go, I'll be nice and flat to my head. And then I just have this little tail hanging out. So, hold on, I gotta put my mic on this camera. So hold on. All right, I'm back with my mic. Hopefully I sound a little clearer, but uh, <laughs> I braided my hair with this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner just to moisturize mainly my ends. I've also used my Eco Styler Gel, which is like almost empty, girl. I need to get a new, whole new can. Make sure to put a lot of gel like around my edge way or whatever so it could mold down and stuff and be nice and hard and i also just put gel as i you know was braiding the braids so they could be nice and kind of molded down or whatever um when you're doing a flip over method you do want to leave some hair out so i left out about an inch as y'all know i am doing hairstyles that is going to give my edges and my hairline a break so i love the flip over method because you ain't pulling nothing your entire hairline is out to just give your hair a break and your hair is not being pulled and stuff like that so yes flip over for the win so i'm gonna start by just bobby pinning this little piece up somewhere <laughs> then i'm going in with this black wig cap and i'm gonna just put that on my braids i'm gonna just pull that to make sure it's like nice and flat up here because you want that part to be super flat so you can lay your tracks seamlessly up there so there's a couple different types of quick weaves. just do it by molding your hair down or you can use a cap i'm using a cap today but you still want to kind of like mold it down to make it nice and like adhesive -y, okay so the glue can stick better to the cap so i'm using the got to be glued free spray and basically just Spraying that 
And this is also going to have the cap like adhesive to your hair somewhere so it can be nice and stuck on there. So I'm not sitting under nobody's dry today. I'm just using my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry it to get it a little dry. So that's that my cap is like kind of sticky so that's like perfect right there so i'm gonna go ahead and start putting my tracks on my head i'm starting with my 18 inch quick weaves are really simple if you don't know you just measure to your head just like that you cut it just like that you glue it just like that then you want to blow dry it a little bit just like that you just stick it down just like that blow dry it again bam girl that is it and now with my first track um just a little quick weave tip so yeah i like to put that first track like underneath that little bulge right there and that basically just gets the cap to stick down and you know stay yeah <laughs> so yeah that's what a quick weave is real simple real easy tracks ain't really going nowhere okay so i'm gonna just keep doing this and i'm gonna go ahead and get like halfway done and i'll come back and show y'all how i start to curve my tracks to get it nice and seamless and perfect just like ivy so yes let's get it all right y'all so i'm halfway almost halfway done i just finished one bundle and i really think two bundles is gonna get me there because girl look at that peanut head okay i just want to show y'all how ivy taught me okay i ain't even taking none of the props but i'm telling y'all what ivy said to do okay so ivy said <laughs> to start curving the tracks up like this and what this does is helps to create gr do you see a track do you see a track okay i do you see Curving the tracks going up like that just creates that seamless look. And then your, when your hair is out, it's just going to be like, bam, girl, like, bam. Like, and you all see the vision already. It just helps it to blend in with your natural hair that's out at the front. And it just, it's going to be like, shh, shh. I'm about to dig into my 16 inch bundle and um, I'll come back when I'm like almost at the top and show y'all how to go ahead and do the real. This is like the official part up here, the real flip over part. So, yes. I do want to point out something I've learned while doing this flip over method. When you are curving your tracks, you want to stop right where you want like kind of your part to be. Like say if you want to flip it over and you want it to be like from over there, you do you just stop there. You know what I'm saying? Like do that make sense? But basically you stop the curvature wherever you want your shebang, shebang to be. So I hope that made sense to y'all. It's a little jumbled in my brain, a little jumbled coming out my mouth. But after you do that, you just keep applying the tracks um, like this way, like that way. Make, make sense? Like we gonna go up this way now. Now what we doing is basically changing the flow of how we're doing our tracks. We're not doing a curve like that no more. We're starting to make the curve go this way. So just basically stacking those tracks like up to here to fill in all that area. And then we're going to make them go this way. And I'll come back when we get there. I ran out of track. I've been putting these tracks so close together, y'all, and I done ran out. So you know what you gotta do. <sighs> gotta snatch a track from the back. Damn. This is the flip over part, y'all. You wanna leave out a little section like this. Mine is a little raggedy and not really closed, but I'ma close it really quick. So basically, you just wanna start putting your tracks like little tracks like this and just doop, 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 doop. doop all the way across and I'm gonna show you what to do at the end. You also wanna make sure that these tracks are really close together. That way you don't see no tracks when you flipping and flopping and, and doing the most. And I'm actually putting my tracks like on my scalp so everything can be like super closed in and like just seamless, so yeah. Okay, pause. The easier way to go ahead and get all these cut instead of 
measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting, is we about to do this, okay? We about I remember this is something I used to do with my clients, so I don't even know why I'm struggling taking all this time to do this. So just measure one time, cut. Take that same one you just measured, line it up with the weft and cut another one. And just keep cutting them until you got a whole bunch of little things. So now I got all my little tracks cut. That makes it so much easier to go ahead and lay these across. And I just thought of another easier thing for me to do. Girl, we about to get this done quickly, okay? I'm just about to go ahead and slap this glue all over here. That way I can just boop, 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 lay the tracks right on, bam. All right, y'all, so we about to go ahead and close up this flip over. So y'all see this little side over here. You wanna go ahead and add a track going that way. But you want majority of the tracks to be going down as far as possible to meet to this side. So I'm gonna add a couple more right here. And y'all see that little space right there? I remember her older method, she just put like a track right up there at the top but in her newer updated method she just went on and put a track you know like right there going to the same side just to like close it up i think i'm gonna try the new school method put a track right there but hers was a sewing so she just sewed the two wefts together obviously mine is a glue so i'm gonna just try to fit as many tracks right there as possible to close it up i'm gonna put another one like right there, as y'all can see, I got them like super, super, super close. Like, bam. I do wanna let this hair dry a little more because I want this hair to be like big and poofy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse it a little bit so it can dry up some more and I can kinda like brush it out just a little bit because I want like big, big sucks of hair. And then we'll come back and I'll show y'all how this flip over turned out. Alright y'all, so here is how the hair looks. It's kind of like semi-wet, but this hair is gorgeous. Like, oh, when I say soft, like these curls are freaking soft. I'm gonna just let them continue to air dry. I don't like to dry my hair like all the way. I prefer it to air dry. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get this natural hair blended in with this hair. So I'm gonna just pull this back. I feel like since I did it in a twist, it might go ahead and blend just from doing that, but we'll see. All right, definitely not gonna blend in like this. I think I'm gonna wet my hair and just see if I can like brush it in. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I came to a conclusion that I think I'm just gonna wet it. Even though my hair is not this texture at all, I feel like if I just wet it and like brush it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair. So now we're gonna go in with some gel. Ooh, girl, I don't know. I don't know about this, I don't see it. <laughs> okay, okay, I see it. See how when you just put that gel on, like your natural hair can just easily like, boop, go right into that weave. Like, yes, girl, yes. All right, y'all, so here is the hair. Here is the final product. Y'all saw me like comb it out because I really wanted that like big hair effect and I got that with this hair, okay? Like freaking gorgeous. Like this hair is super, I, I can't get enough. Like I'm kind of mad I did a quick weave, okay? I'm gonna try to salvage these tracks once I take these off because this hair is just 
freaking bomb. I feel like I've been natural for 10 years and my hair finally took off and I finally got some hang time, y'all. Like, I'm loving these curls so much. So I am loving this hair, y'all. Love it so much. This 18 inch falls right here on me. My thoughts about the flip over method. I like the flip over method a lot. I just think I should have wand curled my hair or put like flexi rods in it. Cause as y'all can see, my hair doesn't blend that well into it after I like laid it down and tied it down. Cause it really just made my hair like straight. So now it's just like poofy up there, but that's cool. You can just hide it just like that. You can hide your hair, but you can still have your hair out. So Thank you again to Asteria Hair for this bomb curly hair like y'all. I love this hair. Y'all make sure to check out the description box down below. All the information is down there. Okay, so shout out to Asteria for sponsoring this video. Shout out to Mama Ivy for this technique, y'all. If y'all ever do the um, Ivy flip over method, make sure y'all give girl her props. I mean, I'm sure everybody know who Ivy is. If you don't know who she is, I'm gonna link her down below and link her flip over method down below. So make sure to go check her out as well if you don't know her. But like I said, she's an OG here on YouTube, so most people know her. Thank you, Ivy, if you ever watch this video. Thank you for this method. And I am so excited that I finally tried it on myself for the first time. So yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. I'm feeling myself. Oh, I'm feeling myself. Oh, and I gotta show y'all this freaking choker. Asteria Hair Semi is like really cute. This is one of the two. They sent me two chokers and they look like this. This is so cute. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this, y'all. I love me some chokers and my last one broke on me. So I'm so happy to have this. Thank you, Asteria Hair. And it just go with my hair perfectly, you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to thumbs this video up. Comment down below if you ain't subscribed, girl. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? So thank y'all again so much for watching. I'll be back. I'll talk to y'all in another video. Bye.